Welcome to Chicago Cars Direct in HD. Today we're going to start off with a 2002 Porsche Box Duress. Oh, that's right, the engine's in the back. Not back here either. I'd show you the engine on the Boxster, but uh, you have to take the entire convertible top assembly off to actually give you um, a peek at it. Uh, however, it's uh, Boxster S, the S model being the higher performance of the two. There's a base and then there's an S model. This is powered by a 3.2 liter six cylinder. It's a flat six engine, uh, similar to the engine of the 911, horizontally opposed, uh, similar to what they call the Boxster engine. It produces 258 horsepower. This particular car is unique because there's not a lot of them with the Tiptronic transmission. That's Porsche's automatic. Still very fast, very comfortable. This car is a 37,000 mile example, and it really is in almost brand new condition and been very, very, very well kept. Let's take a close look. Let's get a walk around this Boxster. Uh, there's actually some history behind this. Uh, this car did belong to my uncle who just traded it to us last weekend for a uh, 911 convertible, so he just did the step up. Love the car. Uh, we had the right color combination for him when he was waiting for a Tiptronic. He doesn't drive stick. If he watches it, he'll probably think I'm ripping on him, which I kind of am. He should drive stick, but regardless, uh, great car. Uh, the Tiptronic does make it unique, and it's the Boxster S model, so you have a little bit extra power. But we'll walk around the car just to give you an idea of the condition. Uh, it's actually some stone chips uh, on the front, uh, just along the bumper. Uh, you can see just a couple along here. Uh, it's very typical, especially of a car that's uh, you know of O2 vintage. Look across the panels up here, though. These are. Truly excellent. Just a couple really light stone chips that probably won't even show up. Uh, just to show you a couple, there's a couple wear and tear spots on here. Uh, on the much lower part here, looks like they uh, caught something down here. Uh, it is into the plastic that would have to be painted to be refinished, but we like to keep everything in original condition. Uh, take a look down here. You've got the 17 inch wheel uh, with a painted crest, uh, also red brake calipers. The red brake calipers are indicative of the S model. There are nearly brand new Yokohama Advent Sport tires on here. These are a great set of tires. They are a uh, more performance variety, softer compound, but these are 22540ZR18. I stand corrected, they're 18 inch wheels. Let's take a look down the driver's side, but look at the reflection all the way down. It's all factory original on the driver's side. Rear tires as well. Uh, they were done right when the others were, but uh, these. You know, they're great tires once again. And on the rear, they are sized 265-35ZR18. Uh, one particular blemish, and no joke, this actually happened when he was on the way to come pick up the 911. Uh, he lives uh, in downtown Chicago in a high-rise building and had not driven the car since November. Uh, he actually backed into a, uh, a pole in his indoor garage. Kind of cracked the taillight here. Um, just spider the paint. I mean, you really, really have to look closely to see uh, any of the damage to the car, but it did happen uh, on his way here. He was mildly infuriated, if you can imagine. We'll come around the back. Proper box to rest badging. The whole rear, aside from that small contact spot, is impeccable. You can see on the lower part of the bumper, the dual outlet exhaust is unique as well to the S model. But uh, back around to the passenger side small uh, chip in the wheel here, but very, very minor. Uh, everything's all original condition all the way down and really in truly, actually almost brand new condition. Very, very nice car. One unique part of the Porsche Boxster is that you have two trunks, which is more than ample room for two people to get away for a week. Uh, in the front, similar to a 911 if you've seen it, uh, I got the Front plate frame, uh, if you should so need to put a front plate on there. Uh, the battery's mounted under here. You've got an amplifier for the hi-fi sound, but everything's in all original condition. Squeaky clean under here. You can see on the lid here, the option codes from Porsche. As they find, you'll find them under the hood of virtually any factory built Porsche. And actually, the fact that that's on there lets me know it hasn't been replaced. Uh, let's come around to the back, and I'll show you the rear trunk which again has great room. Got the factory Porsche floor mats, as you can see there, uh, great condition. And you can actually wedge a set of golf clubs in here. Uh, my uncle claims he actually had two in here. I'm not sure how he did that, but regardless, uh, if you can get two in here, hey, you, you really uh, should get an award. 
Uh, great car, and even you can see on the lid here, all the original markings and stamps. It's a really, really nice car. Power top operation is very simple. Unfasten one single latch. Hold the convertible top, you'll see the clamshell slide back. The top drops right in line. You slide down together in unison. And as soon as the light goes off, it's locked. That's all it is. You can see the box has got ample room for a six foot tall person, but just to show you the uh, condition of the interior, uh, there really is no wear to the interior. Uh, there's just this spot here. Uh, it's not even really wear, it's just uh, wrinkled leather over time. That's going to happen on any leather seat, but uh, I'm going to jump in here. I'm a six foot tall guy, uh, and I can actually I can move this up a little bit. You've got a uh, telescoping wheel, so you can uh, be sure to find a, the right spot there. Uh, you got your lights over here, as well as the left side. Uh, Porsche ignition switch, which is proper of any Porsche. Uh, look at the door panel. We've got side airbags for both front passengers, uh, as well as a little bit of storage in here. But uh, nice layout. Porsches are known for their ergonomic content, and everything falls readily right at your tips uh, where it should be. You see the passenger seat here. You can tell this car is probably only driven by one person most of the time, as there's really nowhere. Just a little bit of wrinkling right here. Like I said before, that is normal proper boxer kick plate down there, but uh, these consoles tend to get a little chipped up. This particular car doesn't show much wear at all. Uh, you got your power windows here, as well as your Tiptronic transmission. You pop it and drive and drive it like any other conventional automatic. If you go into manual mode, you can use these Tiptronic buttons right here on the steering wheel to shift up, shift down, pop it right back and drive just to go back to the normal mode. Behind there, you've got the automatic climate control, which I'll turn down so it doesn't make too much noise. In-dash CD player. Pops right out from behind the face of the CD, from the face of the uh, radio. Two cup holders right in there. PSM, this is Porsche Stability Management. That's stability and traction control. Turns on every time you uh, turn the car on, but that's actually a really unique option. When you're comparing Porsches, that's actually a really nice option to have because it's going to give you a little bit more flexibility than inclement weather. And the cruise control, uh, which you have right here. Really a heck of a car. Wish I could pick it apart a little bit more. Unfortunately, I can't. Well, we're out on the road in the Boxster S, uh, cruising along at about 50 miles an hour and take both hands off the wheel. The car's alignment is dead straight. I'm gonna hit the brakes here. The brakes are, wow, <laughs> Porsche brakes. And this Tiptronic is very responsive. And I actually, I know it seems weird, but this is like the smoothest Tiptronic I've ever really driven. And I've driven the 911s, I've driven other Boxsters. It's got a very uh, very smooth shift to it. These will usually uh, hit into gear and you'll feel them. Uh, this car doesn't seem to have that. been very lightly driven. Uh, keep in mind, I haven't driven this car for a few years, so uh, it's been a while since I've been behind the wheel of it, but it doesn't feel any different than it does uh, than it would have when the car was brand new. idea how the Tiptronic works, I'm going to pop in the manual gate. Now I have the function here. If I tap it down, it's going to downshift for me, which is going to give me almost instant power. I'm in second gear now. Here's a flat six roar. Take it back down to second. I'm going to hook a turn here. Nice. Nice balance, nice handling. It's very well put together. But uh, everything kind of falls readily at touch. The visibility is fantastic. This interior is incredible. Uh, as far as condition, and it uh, car shows and drives like a brand new Porsche. Really not much to fault. Really a heck of a nice car. Drives like a brand new Porsche. And with the build quality of Porsche, I and mean, they really do make some of the most reliable cars, uh, this car is no exception. Very well cared for, even though it's a two-owner car. Uh, I know most of the history of it, and uh, every bit of this car aesthetically checks out perfectly. Very, very nice car. Very nice driver. Just want to share a uh, piece of information here with you. I've got the uh, vehicle history report from Auto Check here. Uh, it scores perfectly. does show two owners, as we've said. Uh, there's really not much information on here other than uh, mileage events. Uh, it was initially leased when brand new. Uh, the car came off lease and did go back to a Porsche dealership where uh, it was purchased. Uh, it was purchased in June of 06, uh, and the car was originally registered in California. 
Uh, other than that, there's not much more information on here, just a title event, and uh, we have the title of that car right now. And knowing the home it came from, I have a nice stack of uh, service receipts. Uh, I want to say he only put about six or 7,000 miles on this car um, since he's owned it, but uh, he is the kind of person that would service the car with an open checkbook, um, and did so with uh, the Porsche Exchange at Highland Park, uh, and also did most of his service uh, downtown in downtown Chicago where he lives with uh, Midwest Performance Cars. They're a specialty Porsche shop. Uh, please feel free to give myself a call or anyone of my partners will be glad to help you. Thanks for taking the time to check out this beautiful Porsche Boxster. You can check us out online and see 60 pictures of this car at chicagocarsdirect.com or you can see our entire footage reel. You'll find that on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for spending some time with us today and we'll see you again soon.